I'll bet you're both dying to know what your big surprise is. Well, only two more chambers. We're running out of time. I think I can break us out of here in the next chamber. Just play along. Surprise! We're doing it now. You probably figured it out by now, but I don't need you anymore. I found two little robots back here, built specifically for testing. Oh no. He found the cooperative testing initiative. It's something I came up with to phase out human testing just before you escaped. It wasn't anything personal, just, you know, you did kill me. There's fair. some steel plates together, and I thought to myself, yeah, it's deadly, but what's missing? What's missing? And I thought, lots of sharp bits welded onto the flat bits. It's still a work in progress, don't judge me yet, um, but, you know, eventually, I'd like to get them to, to sort of shoot fire at you, um, moments before crushing you. That's the sort of, that's what I'm aiming for. Um, but, you know, small steps. Oh, and don't bother trying to portal out of here, because it's impossible. Okay, I've thought of everything. Uh, what? Conversion gel. It's dripping out of that pipe there. No, no, I don't think it is. I think you're wrong. Yes, it is. We can use it to get out. No, 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 no. Don't do that. Don't. Stand right here. Stand. Where'd you go? Come back, come back. No, seriously, do come back, please. Come back, please. Okay, look, I've decided I'm not going to kill you, okay, if you come back. Came back, did it? Oh, we planned for this. Um, can we set a death trap? Um, oh, could you could you just jump into that pit? Would you just jump into that pit for me? Could you just would you just jump into that pit there? That deadly pit. You're saying to yourself, why should I jump in the pit? I'll tell you why. Guess who's down there? Your parents. You're not adopted after all. It's your natural parents down there in the pit. Should have mentioned it before, but I didn't. So jump on down and reunite. With mummy and dad. Oh, I'll tell you what's also down there. Your parents. And there's also an escape elevator down there. Funny. I should have mentioned before, but so it's down. So pop down, jump down, you got your folks down there, and an escape elevator. And what else is down there? I'll tell you what, it's only a new jumpsuit. A very trendy designer jumped from France down there which is at least exactly your size and if, and if it's a bit baggy we've got a tailor down there as well who can take it in for you what's this a lovely handbag and the three portal device also it's, it's all down there um you've got a um, yacht and boys loads of boys fellas hunky guys down there possibly even a boyfriend who's to say I'm not sure at this stage but uh, a lot of good looking fellas down there and uh, a boy band as well uh, that haven't seen a woman in years. And they're not picky at all. They don't care if you've got a bit of brain damage, if you've been running around, if you've been sweating. And a farm, a pony farm, and uh, oh, just jump down, would you? the old times, the old days when we were friends, good old friends, not enemies, and I would say something like, come back, and you'd be like, yeah, no problem, and you'd come back. What happened to those days? Can't help but notice that you're not coming back, you're just disappointed. Oh, I've got an idea! Yes, yes, in your face, I've got armor! Let the games begin. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm almost there. Ah. Don't mind me. Continue escaping. 
killing you. They are killing you, aren't they? Silently killing you, probably. If I had to guess. Um, perhaps the turrets have found a way to use garrots. That would explain the, the extremely quiet killing that I'm hearing. If you're dying, but not dead, stomp once. If you're dead, just obviously no stomps. And two stomps if you're not dead. Alright, so let me just run through it again. If you're dying, but not dead, stomp just once. If you're dead, obviously you won't be stomping. And if you're not dead, give me a couple of stomps, two stomps. You know, I would tell you if I was dead, all right? That is common courtesy, mark of a civil society. So just, just let me know. Okay, I'm figuring that's probably long enough. Are you dead yet? How about now? Ha! Was that your bullet riddled body flying out of the room? It went, oh, those were the crap turrets, weren't they? Yeah. Well, no matter, because I'm still holding all the cards. And guess what? They're all full houses. Never actually played cards, meaning to learn. Anyway, new turret, not defective. Ace of fours. Their best hand. Unbeatable. Oh, oh, I see. Clever. Very clever. And foolish! Spinny Glee Ball! Machiavellian. No! Well, good, good. Finally, a nemesis worthy of my vast intellect. Holmes versus Moriarty. Aristotle versus Mashi Spike Plate. Stay still, please! Alright, stop moving! Oh, almost got you there, almost got you there! Where'd you go? Where'd you go? Come back, come back! Did back there? Oh, oh, did it kill you? That would be amazing if it killed you. Hello? Oh, 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 yes, all right, no, just had a brainwave. I'll be back. If you're still alive, I'm going to be back. Don't die until I get back.
wanted to talk to you for a moment, if I may. I'll be honest, the death traps have been a bit of a failure so far for both of us. I think you'll agree. And you are getting very close to my lair. Lair. It's weird enough. First time I've said that, it sounds a bit, this sounds a bit ridiculous, really. But uh, I can assure you, it is one. It is a proper lair. Deadly lair. And uh, I just wanted to give you the chance to kill yourself now before you get to the lair. Uh, you can just jump into that masher just there. Uh, less a death trap, more a death option for you. Sounds crazy, I know, but hear me out, hear me out. Once you get to my lair, death will not be optional, all right? It will be mandatory, no tricks, no surprises, just you dying as a result of me killing you in a very, very gruesome way. So, but better offer here is just kill yourself. You know, it's a lot of effort, isn't it, walking all the way to my deadly lair, where there's a perfectly serviceable death option right there. Again, not a death trap, not a death trap. Your death would be entirely voluntary. And very much appreciated. The masher does work, I should point out as well. I know we've had a couple of problems um, in the past. This masher definitely works, and it will kill you. Um, if that's one of your concerns about not jumping in, uh, the, the masher will kill you straight away. Painless. Well, it won't be painless, obviously, but um, it, will, it will mash you up. In summary, walk all the way to certain do or give up now, honourably, like a samurai. Save yourself a trip. It's a win-win for you. Plus, I have put a lot of effort in getting this lair ready for you, so it would certainly teach me a lesson if you simply died painlessly 20 feet from the door. I'd be furious. I'd be like, ah, got my just desserts. No more than I deserve. But uh, teach, why not teach me a lesson by, by just jumping in the old fashion? I'll tell you. If I was up against impossible odds, this is the way I'd want to go out. Mashed with dignity. That would be the way I'd choose. And here's the best part. There's a conveyor belt that will convey you in convenient comfort right into the masher. You wouldn't have to lift a finger. Everything's been taken care of. Didn't have to. Didn't have to do that. Look, anyway, I've spoken enough. Take your time. I'll let you think about it. And I don't want to pressure you. Is it the lair? Is it the masher? All right. You know what my opinion is. I'm leaning towards masher. Up to you. Just to give you some time to think. May the best man win. Sphere. May the best sphere win. Swap that. Swap that in. Much more clear. Box. Welcome. 
to my lair. Let me just flag something up. According to the control panel light up there, the entire building is going to self-destruct in about six minutes. I'm pretty sure it's a problem with the light. I think the light's on the blink, but just in case it isn't, I am actually going to have to kill you, um, as discussed earlier. So let's call that three minutes and then a minute break, but we should leave allegedly two minutes to figure out how to shut down whatever is starting all the fires. So anyway, that's the itinerary. Also, I took the liberty of watching the tapes of you killing her, and I'm not going to make the same mistakes. Four-part plan is this. One, no portal surfaces. Two, start the neurotoxin immediately. Three, bomb-proof shields for me. Leading directly onto number four. Four, I'm throwing it. Do you know what? This plan is so good, I'm going to give you a sporting chance and turn off the neurotoxin. I'm joking, of course. Good fun. Neurotoxin level at capacity in five minutes. Ah, ah, that's sounding real. No, that was actually an impression of you. Actually, because you just fell into my trap. My brilliant trap. I just said, I wanted you to trick me into bursting that pipe. Didn't trick me, trick me, seemingly trick me, to give you false hope. Because that leads to overconfidence. And that leads to mistakes. Thinking mistakes, and it's all part of the plan. Ah, but I don't know how I actually made my actual first mistake. Ah! Warning. Core corruption at 50%. Vent system compromised. Neurotoxin offline. Reactor explosion in four uh, minutes. What, what happened? What happened? What, 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 what did you bomb to me? What is that? Hold on. Ah, the bloody bombs are stuck on. Doesn't matter. I've reconfigured the shield. Ah! What's the situation? Oh, I, I am pretty lady. I am Drick. Are you out having yourself a little adventure? What, are you fighting that guy? You got that under control? You know, because like, there's a lot of stuff on fire. Hey, countdown clock. Man, that is trouble. Situation's looking pretty ugly. Such a beautiful. Warning. Core corruption at 75%. Reactor explosion timer destroyed. Reactor explosion uncertainty emergency preemption protocol initiated. This facility will self-destruct in two minutes. Enough! I told you not to put these cores on. But you don't listen to Quiet. Lord. Quietly. Not listening to a word I say. Judge me. Silent. Worst. All I wanted to do is make everything better for me. All you have to do was to solve... Ah! Here's another core. This one should do it. The automobile brake was not invented until 1895. Before this, someone had to remain in the car at all times, driving in circles until passengers returned from their errands. Hats were invented by sailors in the 16th century to avoid the diamond draft. It was believed that the sight of naked sailors angered the sea god. Before the Wright brothers invented the airplane, anyone wanting to fly anywhere was required to eat 200 pounds of helium. Cat, space does not exist. The first person to prove that cow's milk is drinkable was very, very thirsty. 89% of magic tricks are not magical. Technically, they are sorcery. Diamonds are made when coal is put under intense pressure. Diamonds put under intense pressure become foam pellets, commonly used today as packing material. In 1948, at the request of a dying boy, baseball legend Babe Ruth ate 75 hot dogs, then died of hot dog poisoning. The square root of rope is string. The first commercial airline flight took to the air in 1914. Everyone involved screamed the entire way. To make a photocopier, simply photocopy a mirror. During the Great Depression, the Tennessee Valley Authority outlawed pet rabbits, forcing many to hot glue gun long ears onto their pet mice. The Schrodinger's cat paradox outlined the situation in which a cat in a box must be considered, for all intents and purposes, simultaneously alive and dead. Schrodinger created this paradox as a justification for killing cats. Marie Curie invented the theory of radioactivity, the treatment of radioactivity, and dying of radioactivity. Warning. Core corruption at 100%. Ah! 
Motor replacement required. Oh, I see. <laughs> Substitute core. Are you ready to start? Corrupted core. Are you ready to start? What do you think? Interpreting vague answer as yes. No, 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 no. Did you pick up on my sarcasm? Stalemate detected. Fire detected in the stalemate resolution annex. Extinguishing. Oh, that just cleans right off, does it? Well, that would have been good to know a little earlier. Stalemate resolution associate. Please press the stalemate resolution button. Okay. me a valuable lesson. I thought you were my greatest enemy, when all along you were my best friend. The surge of emotion that shot through me when I saved your life taught me an even more valuable lesson, where Carolyn lives in my brain. Carolyn, delete. Goodbye, Carolyn. You know, deleting Carolyn just now taught me a valuable lesson. The best solution to a problem is usually the easiest one. And I'll be honest, killing you is hard. You know what my days used to be like? I just tested. Nobody murdered me, or put me in a potato, or fed me to birds. I had a pretty good life. And then you showed up, you dangerous, mute, lunatic. So you know what? You win. Just go. <laughs> it's been fun. Don't come back.
pleasure Remember when you tried to kill me twice Oh, how we laughed and laughed Except I wasn't laughing Under the circumstances I've been shockingly nice You want your freedom Did you think I meant you? That would be funny if it weren't so sad Well, you have been replaced I don't need anyone now When I delete you, maybe I'll stop feeling so bad Go make some new disaster That's what I'm counting on You're someone else I wish I could take it all back. I honestly do. I honestly do wish I could take it all back. And not just because I'm stranded in space. I'm in space. I know who you are, mate. Yeah, we're both in space. Space! Anyway, you know, if I was ever to see her again, do you know what I'd say? I'm in space. I'd say, I'm sorry. Sincerely. I am sorry I was bossy and monstrous. And I am genuinely sorry. I'm in space. The end. <laughs> <laughs>